Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. I like gadgets. And the other day on our Facebook group, Christine's Home Affairs, Sue from Western Australia had shown a new zipper jig that she had purchased. So I rushed out and purchased the same one because I wanted to see if it was any good. Previously, I had done a video on a towel holder that you can use as a zipper jig. This one here is specifically designed for that. There's a clamp that fits onto your bench. Then you've got a few different sized zipper jiggers for the different size zips that you might use. What I'm going to do is try it out. I have tested it once and it, it did my head in, but I'm not going to let it beat me. So what I'm going to do now is figure out how to use it, show you how to use it. I'll do it my way on the table without using any jiggers and then I'll do it the other way using the tool that is designed for zips. So let's see which way works better and which way is quicker. Come along. All right, so I've clamped this onto the front of my sewing table and I've got these three different size jiggers. I've got the number three zip and number four, and number five S and a number five H and then I've got an eight and a 10. I do like that the package comes with all the different size zipper jiggers that you might want to use. Number five is the one that I use most often and I had a play with this the other day and on there is written 5S and the 5H. I tried the S first, did not realising that there was another 5 at the other end. Couldn't for the life of me get the thing to work until I realised it did have the 5 at both ends. In order to put this on, all you need to do is place it over the top of the little metal plate here and then you get a couple of screws with it and then you'll just screw those in. So it's adjustable, you can pop that anywhere you like within that slotted area there. Okay, so let's see how this thing works. What you need to do is put the zipper head on upside down and you need the curved edge facing you. So this part of the head here sits in between the prongs there. And when you place this onto your prongs, you're not actually sliding it in between here. It's got to go underneath this section here. If you put the prongs inside here, then you're never going to get your tape through. Okay, let's give this a go. So I'm just going to separate my zip here. Now, because we've got our zipper head upside down, we need to place our tape upside down as well. Pop that on either side and give it a push. Maybe open it up a bit more. So one side wants to go on. Oh, this is so frustrating. I actually played around with this before I started recording and I've had nothing but frustration. I do know that it works. So I can easily get one side on. Let me trim that. So I've trimmed off the furry edges. Let's see what happens now. It didn't have furry edges to begin with. It does now. It gets chewed up the more you try. I do know it works, oh my goodness, but I do know that it works much easier when you do it manually. So let me show you, even though it's got chewed up ends, it's going to work much easier than the zipper jigger does. So the zip will go on without a problem. It's this thing that's the problem. Let me try the other end. Pop the zip back over again. 
Oh, look, success. But you can see that kink in there. Now that kink is because each side of the zip didn't go on at the same time. Uh, so it hasn't fed through evenly, which means that when you're using your zip, you've got that kink in there permanently. So that's not ideal. It's not what we want at all. We want to be able to line this up perfectly at the very top. I'm going to trim the zip back so that it's nice and straight at both ends. And just to show you that it does work when you do it manually, if I spread that apart, if I pop both sides in there evenly, push that down, you can hear that click. I can see it's actually stepped up a bit, so it's not going to be even, but you can see how quickly I've done that. It's got a slight kink in it. It's not good enough. That looks straight and it clicked. So that's straight on the side edge here and that's nice and even on both sides. So we know that the zips line up perfectly. Let's try this again on the zipper jigger. Oh, well, it went on easier, but you can see that it's not straight. There is a slight kink in there, and you can see that that's kinked at the top as well. Try one more time. Oh, wrong end. Oh, that worked. Look at that. That is nice and straight at the end as well. Now that we're on a roll, let's see if we can get this to happen again. And let's see if we can even do it quicker. Oh, this is so frustrating. This is so maddening. <laughs> that towel holder that I did a video for ages ago works much better than this. I don't know why. Oops. No, I give up. So I've put the zip head on coming from the back and we'll see what happens this way. I'm not having any luck at all. I'll try one more time from the opposite direction. I've turned the plate around, put the head back on. I'm going to try this one more time before I call it quits. Oh, look at that. It finally worked, but have a look how much that stepped up on the one side, because obviously this side went in first and then this side's come in afterward, but you can actually get both sides in and you can see inside here how that's not even lined up. So if I had two zipper heads on here going in opposite directions, you wouldn't be able to get these lined up unless you can figure out how to use this thing and line it up perfectly straight. So if I take this off and line it up manually, you 
nice and straight at the top there and you've got a nice even spacing in there as well right now I really think this is a piece of rubbish uh, but I'm going to try one more time because we did have success we know that we can get our zipper teeth straight let's see if we can try one more time to get them straight on here oh oh no I got myself excited a bit then it's still stepping up so you've still got one side going in before the other side which is still causing unevenness in the zip if you're only putting one zip in it's probably not the end of the world but still you're going to have that little kink on one side you really want to be able to get your zipper teeth in evenly all right one more try I must be holding my tongue the right way now I'm actually getting the head onto the zip but it's still not going in perfectly straight so even though this does work I don't like that it doesn't go straight oh it does it does go straight that's much nicer so you can see at the end here it is nice and straight which means I'm going to have a nice even zip going all the way but how fiddly was that to do let's try the other end now that I'm on a roll I'll see how I go it shouldn't take this long this is an incredibly frustrating tool even separating it completely isn't going to help me any <laughs> this is so frustrating okay I'm not doing a time trial but I will try the number three number three zips are much finer so let's see how we go with that all right so I've just learned something new for many years I thought these little dress zips were a number three they're not it's actually a number four so I've put the number four tool on and I'll pop a zip on the end and the reason I found that out was because it just didn't fit on the number three prong the prong widths are different for each of the different sliders okay that's on and now we'll see if we can get this one working oh that looks promising so that went on fairly quickly and although it's not perfectly straight at the top um, I'm pretty pleased that this actually works for the finer zips because these ones are more difficult to get the heads on uh, but again you can see that it kinks up because it stepped down a little bit when I've put it on I'll try again try and put that on evenly and that's looking nice so that's much better I'm actually finding the number three uh, the number four is actually easier to use than the bigger ones really interesting it's still not 
it's still not perfectly straight at the top. On the smaller zip you won't notice the kink as much. I'll see how we go this time with a better view from overhead. Interesting. So that worked really well. Okay, now that this has given me a little bit of confidence, I'm going to change back to the number five and see if we can get it working this time. All right, wish me luck. I've got the number five on again and I've gone and neatened the edge there. Let's see how we go. Not having much joy here at all. So I've just trimmed off some more excess because it was getting a bit tacky at the top. I'll try one more time before I give up completely. All right, I quit. I really think this is a piece of junk. There are some zips where depending on which angle you have this little wiggly bit, it brings a little hook up into the head of the zip and that can affect how something slides on. So I have tried this all the different angles. It still doesn't work. Obviously it does, it just doesn't work quickly enough and I clearly don't have the patience. So if I go back up here, even though it's got a little bit furry. That's already on. And so much easier to do it by hand, at least for me. Well, I don't know about you, but that was pretty tense for me. I have no patience whatsoever. Uh, I like things to work quickly and easily and this gadget didn't work quickly enough for me. It does work. It's not that easy. I just wasn't holding my tongue the right way. If anybody has this tool and you're having success with it and it goes really quickly for you, let me know what it is that I'm doing wrong because I cannot for the life of me get it to easily put a number five zip on. It'll go on but it takes me a lot longer than it does compared to when I do them just by hand. And that's not to say that doing it by hand is always quick and always easy. There are plenty of times that I can't get it to line up properly and I might have to have three or four goes. But I don't think I've got the patience at all to use that tool and have to try and insert everything in perfectly. Uh, it's, it did my head in. It frustrated me. It even makes me angry too. And I shouldn't be feeling like that when I'm trying to put zips on. So I'm going to stick with my way. Although for the number four zip, the little dress zips, if anything, I'll set this up so that I can use it for the number four because that seemed to go really well. But with my bigger zips, ah, it was a nightmare. If you've had better success with your zipper jigger than I have with this particular style, let me know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I'd love to know because if I can find something that'll make my job a lot quicker, I'm always up for that. I hope you've enjoyed this little video and my frustrations and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.